I just wanted to go through with you um, separating a head into all different pieces. So as you can see, I've got the sides of the head and I've actually separated to make the front part white. So when you, are, um, and I've also separated the head gusset. Sorry, moving along. The head gusset with the top of the head gusset so that the entire snout of this bear will be in this lovely white fur. Um, so we're just making a little Valentine's bear. So uh, before you actually put all of the head together like you would normally put it together, you need to sew the parts of the gusset back together. So just pinning that. So that part needs to be sewn back together. But also, so it looks like this, but also so do the sides of the head. So as you can see, I've just cut that away from that piece. So those pieces need to be put back together as well before you put the head all together. So I actually just put a pin and then ease around. So this pattern is my Brian pattern. And I've actually just taken it to pieces. And the easiest way to do it is to actually just trace it a few times. So cut it, cut the shapes, and then retrace them, adding the seam allowance. So what do I mean by that? If you are cutting away from a pattern, so that's now going to have that beautiful little white face. If you are cutting away from a pattern, so you're cutting the front of the face away from the other side of the head, you need to add a seam allowance on both sides so that it will come back together as the proper shape. So that's a big tip. You can actually um, alter any bear pattern any way you like. Um, as long as when you cut things away and you retrace it, retrace it allowing whatever your seam allowance is. So for me, that's about three mil. So it's really important that you remember to do that and to put it all back together again before you try stitching them together. So make sure that the heads, one side of the head is one piece and the head gusset is another piece. So hopefully that will be of help to you. Thanks for watching.